So one topic that we haven't talked about is the aging offensive line, right? Because they're yeah. getting older. We've had and the Bills are an interesting case because you've had the same line respectfully for a long time now. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that they've hung their hat on. You know, they've had to, like you said, yeah, they're getting a little bit older. So you have to look at when is it time to start being more aggressive and cycling out that line. And we're hearing some of it now with the trade talk of Cordy Glenn moving Deion Dawkins to tackle. Um, you know, they've, they've brought in, you know, Miller at guard, which I'm still not in love with. Um, you know, so the, it's starting to cycle that line. But truthfully speaking, you have LaShawn McCoy. So exactly what are you worried about? He's not going to be here. They're going to cut McCoy. Dude, you, you can't be serious, right? But about what? Cutting a 30-year-old running back that is hurt? His, produ- his production declined throughout the year. Like, we said it two, uh, two weeks ago that he, he caught, like, 38 passes in the first two months of the year, and he caught 21, at the, you know, just as an example. He caught 21 in the last two months of the year. Okay, well, uh, hold on. You can dismiss any conversation you have about catching passes when Tyrod Taylor is your quarterback. So you can't use that as a crutch. Taylor's your quarterback, so well, any player that catches passes is immediately irrelevant in the NFL. Okay, well Let's then put that out. Then the number I will use is a guy that's going to be making two million dollars more than any other running back in the league. He's Lashawn McCoy. Like what's? I don't care if he's Jesus Shuttlesworth. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> paying him. You know what I mean? I understand his value to the team. I really do. But the thing is, you're 30 years old. And the way that the cycle starts to work now in the NFL is you draft a guy, you run him into the ground for four years, and then you draft another guy. Yeah. Okay. That Okay. That is a valid point. However, you're talking about a guy who is marquee at the position. We're not talking about Michael Turner. We're not talking... We're not talking about that type of player. We're talking about a guy who is comparable to Curtis Martin, to... LaDainian Tomlinson. We're talking about a guy who's comparable in this generation to those type of players based off of production and volume. So McCoy, okay, he's 29. He's entering his age 30 season. Like Fred Jackson was talked about as being the oldest running back in the NFL. And people made a big deal out of that, right? When Fred was here. But we're not going to see the decline in production like we saw with Fred because of the type of runner that Shady is. Fred depended on his eyes and the ability to adjust last second. Shady doesn't do that, right? Shady doesn't depend on his eyes. He depends solely on his instincts, yes. right? So at age 30, he's going to age better than Fred Jackson did. However, I want to point out, he had less, coming into this season, but quite less touches than LT and Curtis Martin at this age. Yeah. So how, how can you tell me that he's just going to be gone? Who are you going to replace him because with? Because I'm going to pay you for what you're going to give me, not what you did. That's why I'm not paying you eight point whatever million dollars to do that. I'm going to pay you for what you're going to give me, not what you not what you did. So who can you replace him with? Who do you got in the free agent market? So wait, wait, wait. So you're you're legitimately saying that you're going to bring in a new quarterback and a new running back, and this is all going to be great. It's all going to be fine. You can't, you can't be serious about that. You, look, McCoy's the perfect bridge piece to bring in a new quarterback. Because you hold on to McCoy, even if it's just for another year, you can't get rid of LaShawn McCoy. And so you're saving $2 million, who cares? You got plenty of room under the cap. You're not worried about that. The free agent market's diluted. Are you going to bring Carlos Hyde in? You're going to tell me volume's a problem? Love Carlos wait, 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 wait. Hyde. You're going to tell me volume is a problem at the running back position for LaShawn McCoy. Then you're going to bring in Carlos Hyde? He's younger. He's more of a north-south guy. Something that this aging line needs. You need a guy that hits the hole, not dances around it. So, so wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Chicago because that. LaShawn Chicago. was a phenomenal bridge piece to Tyrod Taylor. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah, but you want, so you want another version of Mike Tolbert? How effective was Tolbert in this offense? Come Are on, you yeah. out of your mind you saying Carlos North, Hyde is Mike Tolbert? No, you're saying a north-south runner, so I'm giving you the north-south runner that was on the I team. I didn't say bring back Booby Dixon. That's a north-south guy that likes to right. jump north. Booby was excellent on special teams. Oh. Excuse me. Excellent on special teams. Why? Hey, Booby was phenomenal on special teams. No, you got Hyde. The guy, <laughs> he's he's pretty much going to be done in San Francisco because of yeah. the change of the guard there. Yeah. You can use Hyde. Hyde would be a wonderful piece that's not going to cost you $8 million. Yeah, but the free agent market is, is trolled with just with mistakes after mistake. You got, okay, you got Carlos Hyde, Frank Gore, uh, Isaiah Crowell. 
Like we're not. Oh, Rawls not going to be there. That'd be a guy. You can Thomas pick up. Rawls. Tom, you want a North South guy? Love there Rawls. Yeah, but he's not healthy. Love That's, me some. You're going to complain about. McCoy well, good thing they don't have one running back on the team. That'd well, be phenomenal. But you're going to complain about McCoy missing time, but. You're going to say Thomas Rawls or Carlos Hyde's the answer? One of those reasons those guys are I didn't say the free agent time. pool was phenomenal. I just said that they're going to cost you less. And if you have to take a $6 million hit on the chin from Tyrod Taylor, why not get another running back that's not 30 years old? Yeah, but you save three. What do you say? How much money do you save if you cut McCoy? Uh, I think it's like three-something this year, but it's going to be like six. Is it six the following year? I'm not really sure. That would make sense. So you're going to tell me that you're going to cut McCoy and then for the same amount of money that you cut him, that you save, you're going to bring in somebody else. Sure. Why? Well, there's no reason for that. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. You're going to cut somebody, save the money, and then spend it on a broken piece. Did you not just say 20 minutes ago we were going to do that with Tyrod Taylor? But there's a significant difference. You're going to give Tyrod Taylor's money to Nick Foles. So you're saying that Tyrod, so you're saying that Sean McCoy is the Tyrod Taylor of the running back market? You're crazy. You're crazy. You get rid a of A guy Taylor who's nearing age 30 whose legs are going to go out very soon? Sure. Okay, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty close. <laughs>